Hi, I'm Kate McCune. and I'm adjunct professor of marketing at Fordham Graduate School here in New York City. And I'd like to introduce to you Lene. Lene is a wonderful and normal New Yorker. <laughs> Recently, I did a study at Fordham Grad School of Business where we determined that 66% of young people under 35 no longer wear wristwatches. In fact, what we realized was that wristwatches are the buggy whips of the 21st century. The young people don't need them and they don't wear them. And Lene is here to tell us why. Why don't you wear watches anymore? <laughs> Um, a lot of the times it's just my cell phone has the time and because it goes to the bio, is it the biological clock that just it tells you the real time and it's the one that I check the most just because you can a lot of clocks just jump ahead or they're too slow and I'm a person that likes to be on time honestly I hate to be late and so I always have my phone on me and I have the iPhone so I have my music I have my internet I have my phone I have text messaging I have everything in one spot so having a watch is just unnecessary for me and although I wear bracelets and everything like that usually on my wrist I just don't feel the need to wear a watch what do you think if there were clocks regularly that you could count on in windows where you would see public clocks mm -hmm. that you would glance toward? Oh, I do. I could actually, um, <laughs> on my way to school, there is a building, I, I, just a couple stores ahead of it, and I actually, every morning I would walk in and I'd check that clock to make sure that I was on time, even if I left at the same time. And it was, I think it was even just a couple minutes early, um, for time, but I would always check that time just to make sure, just because right at that point in time it was the most convenient. You know, I had my phone, which I could reach it and get, but at that time it was the most convenient. So having a clock in a window is going to be the most convenient for me, and that's one of the things that I've learned. You know, it's just, I mean, random example, but if you have a trash can in an inconvenient place, no one's going to use it. New York is so clean because we have convenient trash cans everywhere. If we have a convenient clock, people are going to use them because it's it's right there. It has the time. It displays it, and it's it's awesome. It's I don't think we have enough clocks on the street. On the street. Let me ask you this: a lot of people have like signs that say "open," which is nice because it says we're open. Yeah. But a clock both says we're open, and it says here, let me give you a little something in the street. Yeah. Even if you don't buy anything, oh, yeah. we did a little nice thing yeah, for you. Definitely. I mean, it's. It's nice to know where you're going, what time, you know, just to have that range and to have it readily available at every time because there's so many things to do and so many places to go and people have a busy schedule and I would love to have more clocks. Like even if you have like bell towers or, you know, just little things, every, every other store is going to be awesome because I'm walking down the street all the time and Walking in New York, I try and walk as much as I can. I can't be checking my phone every five minutes. And it's just out of style right now to wear a watch. It's actually out of style. It is. And it used to be really cool in the 1920s when jewelry first came out. It was the hottest thing. And even if people have watches now, like a Rolex, you're like, oh, that's nice. It's more of a status in that sense than it is a convenient need for time. And even you said in the car where you might have a clock, you might still check your phone. Yeah. So if you were driving by someplace, you'd probably look at the clock. Oh, yeah. Like if it were at McDonald's, if you knew if you drove by McDonald's, you'd see a clock. Oh, yeah. In your head, you'd remember that. Yeah. And then you'd think fondly of them, oh, they did that thing. Yeah. Whether or not you were stopping. Exactly. I mean, I know where the clocks are in my mall back home. You do. I know exactly where that clock where? is. It's right by the food court on the second level in front of the elevators. I, there's a clock right up the street. Um, I think it's just like two or three blocks. I don't remember the perfect address, but it's right there. Um, even in my town center back home, we have one. Right, it's a huge tower that I love. It even has a bell, which is fun. Which is fun. And you can hear that, you know, for a good distance. So. It's, it's nice to have that convenient thing, and you remember it. You definitely remember where the clocks are, even, you know, the one right by my school. Let me ask you another thing. For, for young people, what some of my students have been telling me that, whereas it used to be that students, or that, that young people didn't mind stuff, that you had it for a while and you threw it away. But in the last few years, everybody's gotten so sensitive to rumor. But what people are telling me is that um, 
Young people don't like stuff that looks like landfill. They like things that look permanent, that when you have it, it's not going to be tossed away tomorrow. Yeah. And that's a new thing, too. Definitely. I mean, it's... It's, I mean, I, I've lived in New York now for a year, and I've just realized that people are very go green because when you walk in the street and you actually see how much is being thrown away and how much is not reusable, it, it starts to concern you, especially with the years continuing on. And, you know, it's it, it might not be my generation or the next, but eventually one day, it'll yeah, it'll catch on. and. It's something that we have to really look at as a whole country, as you know, as a society. We have to really have that as an important part. What's this world going to come to? Because oh, there goes my phone. <laughs> oh, get your phone! Um, it's ringing. It's, it's my phone. Oh, honey, go for it. All right, how long? We're timing. I've got my watch. Okay. You got your watch. All right, yeah. I got my watch, honey. Okay. So how long it takes me? Okay. Fine. Oh, this is great. Five seconds. Yeah. Too long. Thank you so very, very, very much. much. Um, we really appreciate this. And hey, all you guys, these people are real. I'm a real human being. We're real. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Brought to you by Oak Handel Entertainment, New York's number one video production company. Oak Handel proudly supports dedicated entrepreneurs.